Helping today, we're looking into the aftermath of the huge fire that burned four businesses in southeast Hawthorne yesterday. Firefighters are still working to figure out how it started. Yeah, it was massive. Lindsay Nadrich is live on the scene tonight. And Lindsay, you spoke to one business owner who's not sure what's next for him. Yeah, there's a lot of history in this building, so it's really tough for many to see it like this here today. The antique store here, really good stuff, had been in business for 30 years, but now this may be the end. Really good stuff owner Evan Schlaes told me he doesn't know where to go from here. He says it took 30 years to accumulate the unique items in his store, so even if he were to open in a new location, it wouldn't be the same. He did not have fire insurance, so this is a total loss for him. One of his employees was in the store when the fire started in another part of the building, but he was able to get out safely. Evan was on his way here and saw the huge plume of smoke, and as he got closer, he says his heart just sank. I was here every day for 30 years, and all of a sudden it's just gone, and uh, I'm I'm still processing it. Things got pretty intense yesterday when smoke exploded out of the building. Two firefighters were hurt and taken to the hospital, but both are now home and doing okay. Arson investigators were out here today, but I'm told it will take time to figure out where and how the fire started. They will need to bring in heavy machinery to sift through the rubble. Now, there were three artists that also worked out of really good stuff antique store here. There's now a good GoFundMe account online to support them. We have a link to that if you want to donate on coin.com. We're putting live on Lindsay Natter, Point Six News. You feel for all those people.